Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com. Here I have the Nokia 3720 Classic. Uh, many of you have emailed me to say why don't we review some other um, more uh, run-of-the-mill or ordinary phones. That's not to be disrespectful in any way, but um, some people don't really want the smartphones with Android and Windows Mobile. Uh, before I get underway, just want to mention that I am recording on the Sony HDR FX1000 HD camcorder that we uh, unboxed a, a little while ago and uh, that we are reviewing at the moment. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at the Nokia 3720 Classic. So inside we have the handset itself, which we'll look at in a bit more detail in just a second. Uh, also in the box, it's pretty sparse in fact. We have a headset which uh, has a four pole, four pole, two and a half mil jack there. We have an inline microphone which is quite small, it has a clip on it. That has also has a push button. And on the other end, we obviously have the headphones themselves. Pretty basic, I have to say. Uh, then we have the charger. Obviously I have a European charger here because this is actually a brand new model. Uh, it has the standard sort of small style connector on the other end. Then we have a battery, which is a Dell 5CT. That's a standard Nokia battery of uh, 1050 milliamp hours. And then last of all, we have the manual which uh, is black, black and white printed. This is just an English language manual though. Not particularly heavy going, covers the standard features of the phone. So look at the handset itself. First of all, on the front, we have a 2.2 inch diagonal display, which is actually quarter VGA, 240 by 320 pixels. Under that we have soft keys, and then the standard phone keys. Quite a large numeric pad, as you can see there, and a D-pad in the center, up, down, left, right, and a push button in the center. That's for going through your menus and so on. Around the handset, nothing on the left-hand side. On the bottom, we just have the connector there for the power cable. Uh, it does look like this opens up. Yes, it does. And uh, underneath that, then, we have a micro USB connector and uh, the headphone socket that looks like there. It pops back on like so. It's interesting that you can still access the connector there for the charger without actually opening the cover. Uh, there is a place for connecting up a lanyard or a phone charm on the bottom if you want to. Up and down volume control rocker on the right hand side at the top. Um, that is rubberized as is the bottom bit there so um, they aren't, uh, they are, do require quite a bit of effort to push in fact. They are quite firm. Nothing on the top. On the back, a two megapixel camera, loudspeaker grill, and then a flash. It is auto focus, and it's nice to see the flash. Possibly a little bit basic in terms of uh, the camera, but then it's designed to be a fairly in entry level handset, um, as is sort of you know indicated by the fact that uh, it's sold as being the uh, under the classic brand. Um, so if we just undo this on the back. which uh, is actually easier said than done. Okay, so that, that cover is a bit of an effort to remove. There we go. Um, you're gonna want a coin or a key or something to actually undo that, it's a bit difficult. Um, underneath we have the space for the SIM card, which obviously goes in here underneath the cover. Then we also have a micro SD card, which uh, there is one in place. So there's a one gig micro SD card already in the slot, which is cool. And uh, battery pops in place like so. Uh, like that. And then the back cover goes on just like so. Again, that needs uh, kind of screwing down. Um, so it's pretty difficult to do. Certainly you don't do it with your fingers and that's not gonna fall out. Uh, I wonder if that's actually got a rubber cover around it so it's, um, so it's practically waterproof, I would say, on the back there. Uh, I won't worry about actually screwing that back on for now. They just power up. So quick rundown of the specification, this one is tri-band. I want to accept starting up without a SIM card. Weighs only 94 grams, quite lightweight. As I say, 240 by 320 display, which is quite good. The two and a half mil headphone connector is also useful. Internal memory is only 20 meg, so uh, it's just as well that there is a memory card supplied with the handset. 
and uh, we'll exit out all of this. So we've got a fairly standard Nokia setup in terms of what's on the screen here. Um, we've got a variety of things like settings and apps. It's a web browser, there's a media player and we've got a settings menu uh, for various profiles, ringtones and displays. And uh, we've got options screen where we can organize the display. And uh, there are only nine things in the menu. Uh, we've got apps and we've got a few things already built in. Uh, a couple of games and uh, some stuff already on the memory card I would imagine by the fact that uh, it's got 220 meg taken up already. And the fact that it says cities there does perhaps suggest that we have navigation or mapping software pre-installed although the specification makes no mention of uh, actually having GPS or anything like that built in. Um, in terms of the rest of spec I mentioned 2 megapixel camera already uh, there is a, it is water and dust resistant, um, uh, which is an IP54 rating, if that means anything. Uh, MP3 playback, MP4 playback, uh, say Nokia Maps, actually just found on specification, is uh, there is Nokia Maps on there. Voice memo, flashlight, T9 predictive text mode. Uh, size, 115mm from top to bottom, 47mm wide and 13.3mm uh, thick. It does feel quite lightweight actually. Not a bad looking handset if you're looking for something sort of fairly straightforward. Um, that can do a little bit more. There is Bluetooth 2 with A2DP support. Um, no Wi-Fi though. So quite a you know nice looking, not bad, straightforward looking handset. Um, you know fairly fairly basic in terms of you know features if you match it up to say a smartphone, but uh, certainly very capable it would seem. Uh, we're going to be doing a full review of the Nokia 3720 Classic over the next couple of weeks and the review will be online on tracingmap.co.uk uh, very soon. And if you're a fan of unboxing videos, check out the others that we have on unboxings.com.